These examples are from a novel I recently read called Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. It was a really good book. Um, I won't say anything about the book. Definitely not for children. Um, the author wrote for my mother and father. Please don't read it. I can understand why she would say that. So my examples are going to be from this book. This book contained a lot of different genres in it to develop the story. So. Here's an example of a blog post that was pretty much written like a blog post. Here's an example of an email. You can see an email obviously is a lot longer than a text message. And they use different fonts to try to make it um, realistic. And then also just the regular novel writing that you used to in a novel. Here's an like email right there. So we're going to look at text messages. So here we have an example of text messaging in a book I recently read called Boy Parts. Let's take a look at what is expected in a text message. You can see here that it's not capital letters at the beginning. Uh, you bringing friends, friends isn't spelled right, but that doesn't matter because you're trying to get something written as fast as possible. It's really cool that you're coming. Uh, several spelling errors, punctuation errors, and we know from experience that that is normal for text messaging. Here we have an example where this is the first text example in the book, uh, I texted Flo, so we know this first text is coming from the main character, then this is the reply text, and so on, and we can look and see the text looks pretty much like text look, and so what kind of elements about text messaging can we extrapolate? Can we look at some of the basic questions that we got out of our readings? Uh, what is the writing trying to do? Who is it written for? What context is it written in? So we look at text messages and we notice that spelling doesn't seem to matter very much. Uh, it looks like the purpose of a text message is to get information to another person very quickly. And so because of that, things are abbreviated. And so um, a person can be interrupted at any time if they have their phone on to receive a text message. So obviously that's a good reason for it to be as short as possible. So uh, it also looks like it talks about some personal items, some personal issues, and but it could do something else. In this particular case, it's between two friends.